Hi guys, it's March 1, 2018, nor'easter for New England. We've got more flooding coming to the Midwest. We've got a bombogenesis. Winter storm Riley to undergo a bombogenesis. It's becoming an intense nor'easter with coastal flooding, high winds, heavy wet snow in the east. They're calling for power outages, high winds, wet, heavy snow. And yeah, you guys in the Midwest, you didn't have enough flooding just a couple of days ago, so they're bringing you more. But California, well, your major winter storm could threaten the burn areas. Now, one of the objectives in this war that is absolutely intensifying on every front, information war, the takedown of channels on YouTube, not just YouTube, but Twitter and Facebook accounts are being taken down. So we've got an info war, information war that is absolutely heating up, and I'm going to do another video on that after this one. But what else? Weather used as a weapon. The weather wars. The new normal. More and more storms are we experiencing. The mind control wars heating up. So, California, and it's not just California, it's Houston. You get hit over and over. First, you have to experience the disaster of losing your home, whether it's fire or flooding. Then, you have to experience the lunacy of bureaucracy and FEMA or your insurance companies canceling your claim and then you've got to fight with them as if you're not stressed out enough because you've lost your home but now now the financial burden hitting a lot of people the stress and frustration of working with our government bureaucracies and our insurance companies and then you get to learn that it's going to take a really long time for you to get back into that house then you learn that your home has been depreciated. There's so much that goes on. It's not just, hey, let's take a look at another weather front coming in that many people have to suffer the consequences of. And then it's over for all of those who have not experienced those consequences. But it goes on for years for those who do suffer the consequences. So here in California, well, I don't know if they have already decided whether or not to issue mandatory evacuation, but they will today if they haven't already. And they will perhaps today even issue evacuation orders for Southern California. You guys in those fire zones, so people have evacuation fatigue. They've been evacuated multiple times during the wildfires in Southern California. The mudslides evacuations again. Now they may have more evacuations. You know, people, people like to say, God does not give you more than you can handle. Oh, now that is a belief that people need to re-examine, re-evaluate. This takes a tremendous toll on people. Geologists estimate that the scorched earth won't grow vegetation for three to five years, meaning every time a major storm moves into the area, residents may be asked or ordered to evacuate the new normal. Travel highly discouraged in Sacramento. You know, last night I posted this video, and in the video I included all of the ultra-low frequencies that I, I was seeing in these storms throughout. Well, particularly, this is Washington, Seattle area. And I noted in this video, I've never seen ultra-low frequencies quite like I'm seeing them now. And a lot of them seem to be electrified. So you see these very defined lines. The ultra-low frequencies have a very, very wide range, and they fan out. But I've always seen them 
smooth, defined lines, not these jagged lines. But the frequencies were not just in Washington. Uh, they were down in Oregon, and they were close to the uh, Northern California border. And these ultra-low frequencies can be used to modify the weather. So here we have satellite images of this storm. Obvious, obvious that it is engineered. You can see all of the chemtrails, the geoengineering that is taking place, the laying of the aerosols to create these storms. Then they use the weather uh, microwave or ultra-low frequencies to modify, to manipulate, to steer, to intensify these storms, or to stop them. But they don't seem to stop them very often, do they? Now, one obvious, obvious signature is when you see these very defined, yeah, you know, see the top right here of this cloud substance. Mother Nature does not work in defined lines. She does not come down with a ruler and then just, or like a, a you know, a cookie cutter, decide to, you know, create that very defined line that you can see right here, going across this storm. That is caused by frequencies, right here. Mother Nature works in circular patterns, not defined linear lines. But you can see all of the geoengineering taking place throughout this entire storm. Yes, it is manufactured. Yes, weather is being used as a weapon. Obvious. You can also see all of the microwaves at use in this storm. All of the uh, evenly spaced lines throughout. I mean, we are being dumped upon with so many toxins. All of these lines right here, that is very obvious signatures of microwaves at use in this storm. And no, you're not going to get these meteorologists to ever tell you the truth. I heard, I didn't do any research to find out if this was true, but that they signed confidentiality agreements. And most people, I'm sorry to tell you, are of very low character. They just want their paycheck. They don't care about the consequences of their actions showing up to work and working to, you know, you're the useful idiot of these evil psychopathic nut jobs who want to use weapon, use weather as a weapon. They get to live comfortable lives. They read their scripts that are given to them. You can't tell me that the meteorologists are not seeing this and not questioning it. But they get in front of the camera, they read their teleprompters, and they talk. Oh, bombogenesis is coming. Yes, power outages. And they will, they will speak their lines as if all of this is natural, and none of it is natural. None of it. Now, to those who have left comments saying that somebody has said that many of these storms are not intentional, they're not deliberate, it's chaos brought about by the decades of fooling around with the Earth's natural processes, the geoengineering, the weather modification. When you see a dumping of all of these chemicals and heavy metals to create these kinds of storms, you know that it is deliberate. And anybody who can say that one storm is intentional and the other one's not, they must have inside information. But when you look at the radar images, the signatures of these ultra-low frequencies that are throughout 
this storm, these ultra-low frequency transmitters did not turn themselves on. So you can see ultra-low frequencies right here on the coast. Uh, you see these faded, very defined lines. That's a signature of ultra-low frequencies right there. You can see them more clearly southwest of Roanoke. Um, right here, ultra-low frequencies are being used to modify, to steer this storm. And unfortunately, I have been seeing a lot of the crossing of these frequencies, which is very dangerous and can bring about an awful lot of destruction in these weather fronts. You see, and it's almost as if these have been going on 24-7, because in last night's video, these frequencies, Tennessee, that's what it's almost like they have them on 24-7 now. Very obvious, right here, right smack in front of your face. And what is right smack in front of your face is the crossing of these beams. Right here. So these frequencies coming out of South Carolina right here they too may have been going on 24-7 and I certainly feel the effects of them. I live right here in Anderson And I read your comments, and I know that a lot of you are suffering the consequences of these from Texas on up to Canada and all across the United States. Yes, this war is intensifying. It is heating up. And if we can't get our fellow Americans to grow up, to attend to what is taking place, then... This is our new normal. Storms that are created by man to achieve lots of destruction. And many who never thought that they would have to pay the price have paid the price. Many who are still comfortable who haven't paid the price will be paying the price soon enough. Now, these frequencies were also being set off just a little while ago. Mississippi, close to the Alabama border. But I'm not seeing them so clearly now. But here you have ultra-low frequencies, Gadsden, Mississippi. It, it's throughout. You can see all of the microwave propagation in these storms. All of the ripples, the evenly spaced lines, those are the microwave frequencies that are also being used to modify these storms. And let's go to California the Northwest. And what do you see? Ah, ultra-low frequencies. Idaho. Ultra-low frequencies still being set off in Washington State. Ultra-low frequencies still being set off in Oregon. And ultra-low frequencies being set off in California. Northern California,
the frequencies were being set off last night in right here and they're still being set off Fortuna area and right down here yeah Oroville Oroville Dam when I see these ultra low frequencies being set off in this area you have to wonder what the hell they're going to be doing but is the Oroville Dam going to fill and then flood this area south of Oroville again? Well, it's the new normal, right? But look at the 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 range of these frequencies. All right, I'm going to link below to. This patent, if you haven't seen it, method and apparatus for altering a region in the Earth's atmosphere, ionosphere, and magnetosphere, and they talk about uh, the electron, cyclotron, resonance, heating. All right. The region is excited by electron, cyclotron, resonance, heating. So they can do that with ultra-low frequencies. They can heat up a place with the microwave frequencies. But why do they do it? To, to increase the charged particle density. Um, circularly polarized electromagnetic radiation. Circularly polarized Gwen towers. Gwen towers used to um, modify, create, intensify weather storms. This is a good article. Excellent explanation of how the extremely low or ultra low frequencies Gwen Towers and Harp connect and affect the earth weather and human health and here they talk about the Gwen Towers the difference between a Gwen Tower and a cell phone tower well I think most people know what a cell phone tower is you know you see these towers that are not so high but they have these different panels and instruments on them well Gwen Towers now have panels and instruments on them but they're extremely high looking poles, poles, that have wires coming down in a circular pattern right down to the ground. It's the Gwen, uh, it's the ground wave emergency network. These are ground wave frequencies. And they're not just 200 miles apart now. They are all over, and as I said in the video last night, you know, the frequencies coming out of Traveler's Rest in South Carolina. I've driven through Traveler's Rest and they have Gwen Towers just lined up right next to one another, six in a row, and then across the street, another six in a row. And when they shoot those things off, they can, they can produce a tremendous amount of energy so when they say circularly polarized electromagnetic radiation, they're talking about Gwen Towers or these ultra-low frequency transmitters that transmit energy in a circular pattern. Which you can see very clearly taking place in real time right here in Tennessee. It's a circular pattern fanning out, reaching a very, very wide, wide uh, miles and miles and miles. And if you read through this patent, you come across sawtooth heat pulse propagation. So when I said last night that I had never seen these Ultra low frequencies, jagged, they were always smooth lines. But now we're seeing, now I'm seeing how jagged they are. Are these sawtooth heat pulse propagations that we are looking at right here? Perhaps. And if you haven't seen it, let me stop it. You see the jagged 
Oh, well, it looks electrified. This, a lot of people refer to as a sawtooth. Right here. Um, yes, this storm is deliberate. It is deliberate. I will also link below to this article, which gives an awful lot of good information. And I'm sorry for all of those who have to suffer the consequences of all of this. Now is the time to not give up but somehow muster up the energy and courage to get out fighting harder. All links are below.